Welcome back. Enter the Matrix Part 5. Let's hope that we can complete the Chateau this time. Dealing with a whole bunch of crazed vampire programs. I don't really know much what's going on, but... <laughs> Really wish they were in the movies, because the movies would have described them a little bit better than the game. At least, the game's trying a little bit, but not much. We pump them full of lead first. It seems like that helps. Alright, a crossbow. That'll really help. Now they look different. They kind of look like zombies now. It's kind of weird. I hope I don't lose that crossbow because that crossbow is definitely going to come in handy. Wow, can you believe that? Okay, that one takes the cake for the shortest. That's ridiculous. Why would you even bother? Again, why would you even bother? I, I don't get it. Oh, wait. This is the Monica Bellucci part. Oh. I've been watching you. You're looking for your friend. But you will never find them. And you're gonna help me. I can have this room full of my husband's men in a heartbeat if I want to. That wouldn't serve either of us, would it? I wonder what she's gonna be like in the next James Bond movie. I know that's dating this Let's Play, but... Yeah. Really curious. Now it is all I ever think about. I see that you care for your friend a great deal. If they were to die, you would feel such a terrible pain. To be honest, I do enjoy the taste of tears. But there is something I enjoy so much more. You have it. Buried deep inside you. Hidden. Perhaps from yourself. And I see it. There. Like a flame. Creating such heat. Back off. If you want me to help you, you must just kiss me as though you're kissing them. What? If you kiss me as if you were kissing your true love, I'll tell you where your friend is. I could beat it out of you. I like the sound of that too, but a kiss will do. Are 
Are you going to let your friend die over a silly kiss? You have to make me. This is really weird. Again, this is a character or a program that's completely unexplored in the movies and the game as to why she has this necessity. Like, is she a vampire? Is she a viral program? I mean, is she Poison Ivy from Batman and Robin? I, I don't... I don't know. The game doesn't tell you and neither does the movies. It's part of the reasons why Matrix 2 and 3 are not very good. You always have to respect a lady with a secret bookcase. Or be terrified of them. Either way. Pick one. Alright. Let's keep with the crossbow and head on down into the dungeon. talk about a repetitive score it's happening again totally not a boss fight arena all right so you actually have to fight him and his name is Kujo so you know it's stupid Other than the helicopters, I guess this is your first actual real boss fight of the game where you're fighting hand to hand with somebody, and again, like focus is OP. It's... Oh, oh, oh! can easily dispatch of these enemies. Great, I think we have one that's glitched. For Kujo. Such a dumb name. For a vampire, too. It's just no. Cain and Abel. Can't even remember who they are in the Matrix universe. Never 
out of here. Oh great, they're special, they can Dodge bullets. Oh, I remember this. You have to knock them into the prisoners. That's one way to make sure they don't follow you. Weird set of subtitles, but sure. All right, I think, yeah, this, this might lead close to the freeway chase, but hey, at least we don't have to drive. That's always a plus in this game. I remember these guys from the second movie. They actually have a pretty cool ability uh, with the kind of you try to punch them, they turn into ghosts. Really cool. Probably one of the coolest parts about the second movie where these two guys are just thinking, how do you... how do you kill them?
Look at that! You hit the wall in order to end the level. <laughs> Operator. Is the exit clean? As Vestal as my bunk. I'll see you soon. Captain. After you. Zion control to the Logos. Gate 3 is standing down. Your path is cleared to Bay 2. Welcome home. Thank you, Control. It's good to be home. Woo! Not the end of the game, but okay, sure. Okay. Wonder how long it took him to mocap that. Oh. And he wears sunglasses while oh, meditating. I didn't think you'd have the guts to come back here after the last ass whipping I gave you. That dear brother was an act of pure mercy, having beaten you now. How many times? Gosh, I guess I lost count when it hit double digits. That dear sister was typical of the coddling members of my sex must bestow upon members of your sex to cajole them into playing. Oh yeah, that's it. You've done it again. You'll eat those words and half the rocks in this garden. Come on, Trent, make me. Unnecessary boss fight with Trinity, I guess? Also, throws are kind of overpowered when it comes to taking down enemy health. Look at that. Just from a simple throw. that belief is nothing to do with how or why. Belief is beyond reason. 
I believe because it is absurd. You think it's crazy to believe? Truer words have never been spoken about the plot of these movies. <laughs> I believe it because it's absurd. An end to war that has endured for over a hundred years. Of course, it's complete lunacy. And that's why we must believe it will happen. Faith, by its very nature, must transcend logic. Getting all philosophical. When are we going to find you a girlfriend? Like Augustine, I'm dedicated to a higher purpose. What's that? Onanism. Is that why so many saints are blind? Celibacy is a hands on job. Mm. Thank you, Ghost. Anytime. Hooray. I don't really know what the purpose of that entire fight scene was. I mean, other than to say, hey, you fought a character in the movies. But it wasn't Neo, so who cares? Thank you for coming so quickly. You have no need to think. I'm forever indebted to you. It is now. Guardian of the Oracle. Is that right? I can take you to her. But first, I must apologize. For what? For this. Like, remember what I was saying earlier about Monica Bellucci being the Kiss Vampire or whatever? Seraph is actually explained in the movies as to why he does this, but first I must apologize and fight you, so that way I know who you are and I'm able to recognize you. Like, you could easily see him being like some kind of old program that in order to recognize people thoroughly and scan them, he has to fight them. Come with me. The only thing you know about me is I was about to kick your ass. Time. Convinced the council that the logos was too small, the EMP too weak to have an impact. That's not true. Maybe, but it's done. Jason, I am a captain, same as every captain. No, you're not the same. You're the woman I love. It's not right. I'm sorry, but I had to. I couldn't let you go, Naomi. I just couldn't. Truth is, the path of the well, that scene was kind of one note. Are there two among you that would answer such a call? Each of us has our own steps to take, our own choices to make. Captain Niobe of the Logos will answer the Counselor's call. If but one fails, all fail. What? 
I told you, all we're gonna do is jack in, contact the Neb, find out what's happening, and jack out. Any questions? No? Good. Then move like you got a purpose. Operator. Link, this is Niobe. We've been sent to bring you in. I need to talk to Morpheus. Believe me, Niobe, he needs you. Where is he? Just follow the sirens. Let's go. All right. It leads into the freeway chase. Awesome. This part's running a little long, too. All these cutscenes and stuff. Also, some of these billboards in this freeway scene are going to be awesome. Like, just steak. There's even a cheat code on one of the boards. Alright, so that's going to end it for part 5 of Enter the Matrix. Again, thanks for watching. Phantasm Mask here, signing out.